saturated and unsaturated carbon compounds another compound formed between carbon and hydrogen is ethane with a formula of c2h6 in order to arrive at the structure of simple carbon compounds the first step is to link the carbon atoms together with a single bond and then use the hydrogen atoms to satisfy the remaining valencies of carbon for example the structure of ethane is arrived in the following steps carbon atoms linked together with a single bond three valencies of each carbon atom remain unsatisfied so each is bonded to three hydrogen atoms giving each carbon atom bonded to three hydrogen atoms draw the structure of propane which has the molecular formula c3h8 you will see that the valencies of all the atoms are satisfied by single bonds between them such carbon compounds are called saturated compounds these compounds are normally not very reactive another compound of carbon and hydrogen has the formula c2h4 and is called ethene this molecule be depicted each carbon atom gets two hydrogen atoms to give one valency per carbon atom remains unsatisfied this can be satisfied only if there is a double bond between the two carbons giving us the electron dot structure for ethene another compound of hydrogen and carbon has the formula c2h2 and is called ethene draw the electron dot structure for ethene triple bonds are necessary between the two carbon atoms in order to satisfy their valencies such compounds of carbon having double or triple bonds between the carbon atoms are known as unsaturated carbon compounds and they are more reactive than the saturated carbon compounds chains branches and rings such chains of carbon atoms can contain 10 of carbon atoms the names and structures of six of these are given formula and structures of saturated compounds of carbon and hydrogen number of carbon atoms 1 name methane formula ch4 structure number of carbon atoms 2 name ethane formula c2h6 structure number of carbon atoms 3 name propane formula c3h8 structure number of carbon atoms 4 name butane formula c4h10 structure number of carbon atoms 5 name pentane formula c5h12 structure number of carbon atoms 6 name hexane formula c6h14 structure we make the carbon skeleton with four carbon atoms we see that two different skeletons are possible filling the remaining valencies with hydrogen gives us complete molecules for two structures with formula c4h10 we see that both these structures have the same formula c4h10 such compounds with identical molecular formula but different structures are called structural isomers cyclohexane formula c6h12 to straight and branched carbon atoms some compounds have carbon atoms arranged in the form of a ring the following structure straight chain branched chain and cyclic carbon compounds all may be saturated or unsaturated for example benzene C6H6 has the following structure All these carbon compounds which contain just carbon and hydrogen are called hydrocarbons Among these the saturated hydrocarbons are called alkanes The unsaturated hydrocarbons which contain one or more double bonds are called alkenes Those containing one or more triple bonds are called alkynes Carbon seems to be a very friendly element. We have been looking at compounds of carbon and hydrogen, but carbon also forms bonds with other elements such as halogens, oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur.
In a hydrocarbon chain, one or more hydrogens can be replaced by these elements such that the valency of carbon remains satisfied. In such compounds, the element replacing hydrogen is referred to as a heteroatom. These heteroatoms confer specific properties to the compound regardless of the length and nature of the carbon chain and hence are called functional groups. Some important functional groups Heteroatom CLBR Functional group Hello Chlorobromo Formula of functional group CLBR Substitutes for hydrogen atom Heteroatom Oxygen Functional group First, alcohol. Formula of functional group OH. Second, aldehyde. Formula of functional group CHO. Third, ketone. Formula of functional group CO. Fourth, carboxylic acid. Formula of functional group COOH. Free valency or valencies of the group are shown by the single line. The functional group is attached to the carbon chain through this valency by replacing one hydrogen atom or atoms.